Happy holidays, happy holidays, happy holidays, happy holidays. I'm wishing you through singing happy holidays to you. Wow, happy holidays. Today is New Year's Eve and we watch a lot of holiday classics, but one of my favorite is It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart, who gave an outstanding performance. But most importantly, the story itself is so inspiring because it tells the story of George Bailey, who lives in this little tiny town and his dream is to go out and travel the world and doing great things, building skyscrapers, doing this education and become an architect. But what happens is he never left this town. He always put other people before himself. And the story is really about the man who thinks, well, who feels trapped almost and thinks he is not good for anything. And again, in his darkest hour, where he actually takes a blame for someone else who lost a huge amount of money and he finds himself in this darkest hour that he thinks he's not worth anything. And this evil guy, Potter, even told him, you are more worth dead than alive because then the life policy, life insurance policy will go to his family. In that very dark moment, he decided to take his own life. But there are always guardian angels that are watching over us, right? And of course, it's a holidays, it's a Hollywood story. And an angel comes to basically show him his life and show him if he wouldn't be there, if he would never be born, because that was ba uh, uh, John Bailey's, George Bailey's wish what would happen with this town. And he could see a huge difference that he made, starting from rescuing his baby brother when he was a child. And it goes on and on and on. But why am I telling you this story? Because I feel we are finding ourselves in, you know, in also a kind of dark time for many, anyways, who don't know what they're going to do this Christmas because they cannot give their children gifts or put a holiday dinner on the table. A dinner on the table, period. Because they are all been affected by COVID-19. And then, of course, all the uh, wonderful souls that we lost through it. But I want to give you a piece of inspiration here to know in one way or another we all are little George Bailey's sometimes we think we cannot go on it is too dark too the, the life too looks too grim too dark but if you think back on another time in your life that your life perhaps was really dark and, and you were like on the bottom you felt but things changed and you got out of it and felt better and if you look back now I said yeah okay it was a hard time but I got through it and now it doesn't seem so bad anymore and the same thing with the situation I totally believe that we as human beings have the strength and the power to go through anything literally through anything and we just have to keep our faith.
and our hope. And being open at the same time to move forward and ask for help, show us the way, whatever you believe in, higher power, higher spirit, or the sun, the moon, God, it, it doesn't matter. But there's something that is unexplainable, to me at least, that sometimes is like, a, like an angel, like a guardian angel, like it was for George Bailey, who just shows up at the right time. And I have experienced it myself. It feels like, wow, I had a guardian angel watching over me. I shouldn't have come out alive out of that car accident that I had, but I did. And I had no scratch. So I just wanted to say, we are all making a difference in this world, each one of us. And if you think your life is not worth it, think again, because you did touch people's lives in so many different ways. Sometimes we don't even know it, but we did. Our lives matter. And so this holiday season, I just invite you, if you haven't seen the movie, definitely watch it. If you have seen it, watch it again. I will. I know tonight it will come at one of the networks anyways, where you can rent it. And get inspired by it. A little spoiler alert here. Make sure you have your bag of tissues right next to you because I promise you will shed some tears because it's just so very powerful and emotional. And you will laugh at, as well. So that's, that's what I love about it. This is my Christmas Eve message to you. I wish you a wonderful Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah if you observe that. Or Happy Kavanza. Or just simply Happy Holidays. <laughs>